Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Um, things are a little funny. I forgot to set up an event, so we're just going live on the fly kind of thing today. Um, wanted to talk about simplifying your life. So, you know, it's Get Organized Month. Everyone's doing a little bit of organizing. Got a huge glare on my glasses. Let me see if I can get rid of it at all. Of course not. Watch this. Woo! Still kind of there. All right. We're playing around. We're playing. <laughs> Did you guys know I sit on a swivel chair because I have ADD? And that's me swing around. So it's one of the things that simplifies my life. And I went really simple today. So no extra microphone, no extra lift for the camera. Um, just really wanted to keep it simple and see how I could do it quickly. And look at that. The only problem is there's a little glare on my glasses. Other than that, I think it's fine. Do you? Look at that. Nothing, no problems. Um, it might look a little better when it's up here and no glare. But this will work, right? Just for a little chat. Okay. So get organized month. And I know a lot of people are organizing and rearranging. And it's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Really the difference between organizing and simplifying your life so that you don't have to constantly be rearranging. And by rearranging, I mean, oh, let's take a look at the pencil cup. It has a bunch of things. Let me put all of the highlighters together. And then let me put all of the Sharpies together. And then, um, oh, but wait, the markers. Maybe they should all be together. Maybe you should have all the thin ones together. You know, what, what, what way are you gonna categorize? So that's one of the things that happens with rearranging. The other thing is you might sort it and say, these are all my pencils and stuff from the desk but how many do I actually need to have out here on the desk? Um, and what happens is we don't really have a good idea of what we're doing when we start. And so you end up just kind of smushing things around and getting interrupted and then having to redo it next week. And you might forget which pile is what. And so you have to start over or things get scooped up and then you start over. Um, and that's rearranging. And uh, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of effort. And every time you do that with more stuff than you actually need, it takes even more effort. So what I wanted to talk about is simplifying. How do you simplify your life? And bottom line is life is simpler when there's fewer things for your subconscious brain to keep, keep track of. And so whether it's things, whether it's places, whether it's people, whether it's numbers that you didn't write down, whether it's things to do, what is it that's going to simplify all of it? is having less. And to have less, you have to really curate the list of all the stuff, what you own, what you um, participate in, what you, um, the number of people you hang out with, the number of groups you're involved with, all of those things have to be less. Um, but it's not a race to the bottom. So there's a lot of talk about minimalism. I don't really like only have one of everything because that might not be a great thing for you. I personally have this, um, so it ties into one of my money mindsets as well, my limiting beliefs, and that is I might not have enough money to buy the thing when I need it. So the things I do have, I like to have one backup of. I don't keep a whole lot of extra stuff, and I know exactly what I'm buying, but I like to have one extra. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the the most minimal way to do it i could do one and then just go to walgreens to buy more toilet paper when i'm on the last roll or whatever but i like having in a little bit extra not a lot extra a little bit extra of some things other things i'm perfectly okay going down to my last one before i replace or even going to the bottom of the thing you know i don't need to buy a new bottle of whiskey when there's still a couple shots in there i will do it when i'm out um so Think about what it is you need to live your satisfying life. What um, and what don't you need? What could you get rid of that doesn't make that much of a difference? Is it an 80% difference in how your life goes or is it a 20% difference? And are you okay with that 20%? And which area of your life is that? 
That's where deep simplicity comes in. We just want to have what we need. And are you satisfied with that? Or is there something else that makes it better? So again, we're talking quality over quantity. So if having just the right pen makes it lovely to write, get rid of all the other crappy pens. Just keep the one. And then you'll always know where it is because it's more precious. That's what I mean by simplifying. What if you have, um, you know, do you only like post-its in certain colors? Get rid of the other colors. Do you only like um, paper with certain spacing on the lines? Get rid of the rest. Um, all of those little details can make your life so much more satisfying in the moment and in the day. So use just the right tools that you like the feel of, the look of, that motivate you, and you will do better. But get rid of all the ones that didn't work out. Always, we there's trial and error. I was talking to um, one of my clients this morning about my hair's a little frizzy today because I tried a new shampoo. I'm trying to find a new shampoo. And on the one hand, I really liked the way this new shampoo, a bar of shampoo, by the way, and a bar of conditioner. Um, I really liked the way that it makes my hair feel. It's really soft. It's really fine. It's a little more bouncy than it's been lately, but it's also a little more frizzy than it's been. And so I'm not sure yet. But if I decide I'm not going to stick with this bar or I'm going to try a different bar or whatever, this one's going in the trash. I rotate and get a new favorite and I use that um, until I have to make the decision again. Um, so that's what that's where it comes down to what is just right for what's going on right now that you need to be satisfied. What does satisfaction look like to you? Do you even know what you want? What makes you happy? What makes you satisfied? There's ways to figure that out as well. It's a great starting point uh, to getting organized is knowing what actually you want your life to be, who and how you want to be in your life. And that is always the first step. So one of the basics is how much redundancy do you need? Spend a little bit of time analyzing that. What is it? How many do you need, really need to be satisfied? Not because you already own it or they just happen to be there. If that's the choice you make, great, but work with it and use things up and then moving forward, simplify it further. I love going a little bit deeper. In 2020, I got rid of a lot of the things in my office that were in my way and I'm getting ready to go even deeper because it's still too much. There's too many, too many things. I tried some new things. They just don't work. I'm always trying new things, but when they don't work, you got to let them go. And sometimes I let them pile up a little bit until they do go. And then you get rid of them, right? So just know that it's always ongoing editing process. And we are going to be looking for just the things you need and just the right version of the thing you need. And that's how you simplify your life. All right. Let me know in the concepts. Welcome, everybody. So nice to see you. Let me know uh, if there's something you would like to hear about. I'm live here every Monday at 1 p.m. Mountain. That's 3 Eastern and uh, noon on the West Coast. All right. Uh, nice to see you all. Let me know. Um, thanks for the hugs. I appreciate it. And um, we're getting there. Look, I got a little branding going on today. A uh, little color, my own personal color. So things are, are improving and always looking to um, help you live your best life. All right. Have a delightful day.